in last class we have seen ER diagrams now let us see the ER to relational mapping we have already seen the database design process within that first one is requirements analysis second one conceptual design third one logical design in conceptual design we will draw the ER diagrams based on requirements in logical design convert this ER diagrams into tables in relational model the tables can be directly implemented on the database let's see this ER to relational mapping we can divide this entire process into seven steps mapping of regular entity types second one mapping of weak entity types third one mapping of one to one relationship types fourth one mapping of one to n relationship types fifth one many to many relationship types sixth one mapping of multi valued attributes and last one mapping of nra relationship types in previous class we learned how to design this ER diagrams let's see how to convert this ER diagrams into relational database tables first step is conversion of regular entity types for each regular or strong entity type in ER diagram create a new relation R that includes all the simple attributes of entity type E then choose one of the key attributes of that entity type E as the primary key for newly created relation R if chosen key of E is composite the set of simple attributes that form it will together form the primary key of R see here strong entity means the entity which have the primary key is called strong entity this employee which has the primary key SSN and department which has the primary key attributes name and number and this project is also having the primary key attributes name and number these three are the strong entities within this company database so we need to convert this employee department and project now here to convert this employee we need to create new table then we need to include all these attributes in that new table for employee this name is composite attribute so we need to include the simple attributes first name middle name and last name then ssn birth date address gender and salary all these are the attributes of this employee for the department here we have two simple attributes name and number this one is the locations is the multi-valued attribute we will cover that in step 6 so let us create department table with these two attributes department with d name and d number here name and number are the key attributes so anyone we can select as the primary key this d number selected as primary key so it is underlined like that in employee also ssn is the key attributes so we make this ssn as a primary key in this relation and then for project we have three attributes name number and location so with these three attributes we can create this project table but see here in department table this name and number both are key attributes we can select any one of them as a primary key for project this name and number are the key attributes so we can select this number as primary key attribute this key number as primary key attribute second step conversion of weak entities for each weak entity create a separate relation or include all simple attributes within the newly created table or then include primary key attribute of strong entity as a foreign key in newly created relation R then select the primary key of newly created table R is the combination of the primary key of the owner entity or strong entity with partial key of the weak entity for example if we take in this company database this dependent doesn't have any key attribute so it is the weak entity so for this we need to create new table dependent 
and we need to include all these simple attributes in this table as columns then include owner entity or the strong entity primary key here it is ssn in this newly created table as a foreign key dependent table with simple attributes dependent name gender birth date and relationship and we need to add this ssn from the strong entity employee so this strong entity primary key as a foreign key here this is the foreign key which is coming from the employee primary key now primary key for this dependent table will be combination of this two foreign key of strong entity with partial key of this weak entity dependent name this combination is the primary key for this dependent table then conversion of one to one relationship for each one to one relationship identify the relations s and t that correspond to the entity type participating in relationship or modify one of these tables s or t choose one of the relations say s include the primary key of t in s as a foreign key and if is there any relationship attributes then include them in that table it is better to choose the entity type with total participation in r in the role of s means we need to modify the total participation side entities table in our company database this manages is the one to one relationship so we need to convert that manages one to one relationship in this manages relationship two entities are participating one is employee and department for employee we have already one table and for department also we already created this table with two attributes now we need to modify one of these two tables and let's say the two tables s yes and t s should be the modified table so choose s as department because here department having the total participation with this manages relationship so modify this department table we need to include primary key of this table t as a foreign key in this s so primary key of employee table is ssn we need to include this as a foreign key in the department so we are adding that in this department table ssn because this is the ssn of the manager so we are renaming it like manager ssn here we have one attribute for this relationship type so we need to include that in this modified table department conversion of one to many relationship for each one to many relationship type modify the many side table then include if any attributes are there for that relationship type in our company database we have three one to many relationships supervision controls and works for here we need to modify and side table suppose if we take the works for or this employee should be modified if we take the controls this project should be modified means uh, this project should be taken as role s means modified table and this should be taken as role t so let us convert this three let us first convert uh, this one works for we need to modify this and side so we need to modify this employee table we need to include this primary key of t side as foreign key in this employee table employee table is this one so we need to add foreign key department number which is coming from the department table this is the foreign key and second one this is also one to many relationship so we need to modify n side here one side and n side both are employee so we need to add primary key of this ssn in this table itself but which is the supervisor ssn so we will add this ssn primary key of employee as foreign key here as foreign key we converted this box for and supervision and controls is also one to many relationship so we need to convert this one also we need to modify this project table means we need to include this 
primary key of department in this project table project table initially it has three attributes now we need to include primary key of department so this d number is included as a foreign key from the department table after conversion of this three one to many relationships this employee table change like this from this initial design and this project added with the d number attribute for this three relationships there is no relationship attribute so we no need to include any attributes in that relations fifth one conversion of many to many relationship for each many to many relationship create a new relation s yes. then include primary keys of the two participating entities as foreign keys in the newly created table s yes. then this primary key combination will form the primary key for this new table s yes. if is there any simple attributes for that relationship type then include them as a attribute in this new table here we have one many to many relationship works on for this we need to create new table with two primary keys ssn and d number and we need to add this relationship attribute horse in that newly created table within this works on two entities are participating employee and project we need to create new table works on and we need to add primary keys ssn and p number as a foreign keys in this newly created table works on and here we have relationship attribute horse we need to include that within this table conversion of multi valued attributes for each multi valued attribute create a new relation or this newly created relation will contain the multi valued attribute and the primary key attribute of corresponding entity as the foreign key in newly created relation the primary key of this newly created table is the combination of multi valued attribute and the primary key attribute of the corresponding entity here this department locations is the multi valued attribute so for this we need to create new table and we need to include the primary key of this department in this newly created table this department has multi valued attribute location so we need to create separate relation for this department locations we need to add this multi valued attribute in this newly created table the location and we need to add primary key of this entity this is the d number combination of this d number and p location is the primary key for this department location combination of this department number and the d location is the primary key here conversion of an array relationship for each an array relationship create new relation and include the all the primary keys of participating entities in that newly created table as a foreign keys and combination of all those primary keys will be the primary key for newly created table or we don't have any array relationship in this company database so suppose if we have one relationship supply with this three entities supplier project and part then for this supply we need to create new table supply we need to include primary keys of all these participating entities s name project name and part number this as foreign keys here and combination of all these foreign keys will be the primary key for this newly created table supply and here we have one attribute for this supply quantity we need to include that attribute in this newly created table correspondence between er and relational models er model entity is equivalent to the relation in relational model we will represent this one to one or one to n relationship types as foreign keys in relational model and we can represent this many to many relationships as new relation with two foreign keys in relational model an array relationship says new relation with n foreign keys means n foreign keys means here n is the number of participating entities simple attribute we call attribute composite attributes set of simple component attributes 
to represent multi valued attribute we will create new relation and we will add foreign key of owner entity value set will be called as domain and key attribute of your model primary key in relational model this is the result of mapping the company year schema into relational database schema today we have seen this year to relational mapping in this first we need to convert regular entities then we need to convert weak entity types then we need to convert binary relationships then then we need to convert one to one binary relationships then one to many binary relationships fifth step many to many relationships and sixth step multi valued attributes conversion if is there any nra relationships then we need to convert that nra relationships er model in next class we will see how to create this tables and all these constraints in oracle